Yo, what's going on, Sexy Samulator Squad? I am playing the auto attack outpost that you guys wanted to see before. And I figured, you know what? Well, there's no point in holding out and waiting. We might as well just try. We might as well just try. It's a little bit weird because I'm ending up going against arguably, uh, and in my opinion, the correct uh, assumption. I'm fighting the best magical ADC in the game for duel. So we have someone designed for this kind of thing versus me. <laughs> so you never know. He does have, however, 1367 MMR. So at, at 1367 MMR, you know, maybe in my dumb mind, in my, in my, in my slightly less than optimal brain i think i have a chance <laughs> you know, like i could i could i could have auto attack out posh and eat it too you know what i mean i mean it's not really the saying i'd rather not eat auto attack out posh but i'm feeling good about this i mean i know i haven't even seen my opponent yet but so good just in general All right I do not mind your stuns, demon man. Oh, it stunned him. How did it stun him? He didn't use med. Oh, I guess it's probably his, his quadrant and his one. Is that a heal? I don't know if that's technically a heal or not. I guess it is. Because I don't think he meded and there's nothing else that would proc that, right? So, weird. All right, understood. Perfect stuff. We got his blue buff. We are ahead of the curve. Um, He's backing. Can I stop it? I cannot stop it. I am just going to clear this wave. No shenaniganery going on here. No shenaniganery. Hell yeah. That should clear. I'll go back. Not going to stop my back. He's not close enough. We'll get one mana potion and head back out. We're feeling pretty confident right now. I mean... Uh, we have the same exact build as him. We have a couple more potions, and we have the shell instead of the meditation. The reason that I picked up the shell instead of the meditation is because um, I have healing in my kit by picking up my corpses, and I don't want his anti-heal when he inevitably gets it, and he will, but I don't want his anti-heal to uh, counter not only my relic but also my passive like that feels really bad if the anti-heal counters multiple things on on you i'm just alting this i don't really care the reason i'm alting this is because i want to go get the xp camp and i don't want to use all of my uh all of my abilities to do so so i still have them up for this That'll clear pretty quickly, pretty confidently. Obviously, he still has the red buff. I mean, it's not on him right now, but um, I just say that because you can see on the mini map that red buff was up, but everyone knew it wasn't. Uh, let's just clear a wave here, and then I'll go back, get my ring of Hakate, which is going to give me a little bit of life steal and a little bit more attack speed and a little bit easier boxing potential against my dude Kronos. <clears throat> And the buffs are coming back up. I do believe that I could probably get all the buffs in the game because my pressure is pretty good. I have a very high burst. Um, I have a very high burst character. Not to mention the fact that I am also using mannequins. So my, uh, my damage on minions or specifically on, uh, buff minions is pretty darn good it's pretty darn good he actually opted into demonic grip which is a bad call uh in my opinion and i'm not saying that to roast him but it, it's a bad call in my opinion because i don't have any defense and it doesn't even give as much power right like this gives 90 and that only gives 75 so you're really limiting yourself i think in terms of what you can actually do here 
Meditation is going to get him killed because it's going to make my three tick a little bit harder. Which is perfect for me, but not very good for him. And you might have noticed that I downed the red buff, but didn't actually pick it up. <clears throat> it's because I think Alpwasha is one of the most mana-hungry mages in all of the game. He's he's so difficult to, to sit here and, like, cast abilities and be like, okay, I have this much mana, and I can do this, and then this, and then this, and I'll still have 12 mana left. And, you know, it's just, it can be slightly obnoxious. That's going to kill, maybe? Oh, he ulted. Um, his stun doesn't scare me. I am gonna, I am on auto attack out posh. So even without abilities, I should be able to win this fight. Perfect. Huge kill. Gigantic kill. Auto attack out posh strikes again. Let's go back. And I'm, I'm going in between maxing my two and my three right now, just because I'm not really sure which one I think is going to like carry me to the end. I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be insignificant by the end of the game whichever one i max first but they're both at level four they're both pretty much max it's fine honestly the reason i started maxing my three is because i realized that his quadrant um really early in the game if you remember i i, I realized his quadrant actually procs my three and so i switched from maxing my two to my three that happened it is hard to clear or not clear, I'm sorry, but it's hard to push because he is Kronos at the end of the day. He has very good buff clear, very good wave clear, and very good survivability. So it's um, it's not going to be the easiest thing in the world for me to get towers down and phoenixes and whatnot. But if I kill him a couple more times, we should be in the clear. Just a couple more times. And I am one wave away from getting my Telkines. I could probably be back now and just wait for it. There's nothing on the map that's really in danger of being taken. Like, he's definitely not doing Bull Demon. And if I backed when I was talking, I, I could have been here for red, so... Nothing too crazy about what's happening here. Just some in-thought calculation about where I'm going to be in the next 30 seconds to make sure that I have optimal positioning. And obviously, red buff is spawning, which is why I didn't back before, even though I really want the Talkines. Getting the buff control <clears throat> getting the buff control is way more important than finishing a power spike item especially when i'm already winning the fights because i'm two levels ahead all right the blue buff i'll actually pick that up i love blue buff and his blue is spawning really soon so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually just gonna alt this wave and i'm gonna poke him a little bit just to make him a little bit nervous of contesting the blue and I want to be here for this blue. Like, I really, really want to get this blue. Perfect. Perfect. We now have control over the XP camp and all the buffs in the game. We are feeling really confident. My three is maxed, so that'll clear that. Um, and now I'll finally be able to get that back off. I mean, he doesn't stop it, which kind of looked like he wanted to there for a second. I'll finally get that back off to get a little bit more attack speed and more damage on the autos. I know as an auto attack out posh, I'm still kind of playing like an ability based out posh with like, you know, less power because I didn't build book or, or boombas or anything like that. But now with Telkines, I can actually play like an auto attack mage. There you go. There you go. You're starting to see it, aren't you? You're starting to see it, aren't you? Uh, I want to clear this way before I go for the XP camp. Just in case uh, I see him struggle somehow. And if I do, then Bull Demon might be on the cards. I know I haven't taken the tower yet. But even though I haven't taken the tower, it seems okay to do Bull Demon. That being said, is he coming over here? He's not coming over here. I could maybe kill. He will alt me, though. I mean, alt himself. Yeah, not really alting me, but alting himself. But I think alt for alt is good against a Kronos. I do actually think alt for alt is good. I'm not going to detonate that. No need. 
and I'm gonna run this way just so I can have a little bit of a like a flank on him and I I mean my autos hit for like over a hundred right now oh gosh all right I believe he's dead to that oh what no way he lived. <laughs> All right. You know what? Fair play, dude. Fair play. I'm honestly impressed. Sometimes, sometimes plays are so weird or they just go in such an unexpected direction than what you thought that you can't help but just, you know what? Congratulations. Give a little clap to the enemy. All right, that will clear the wave. Again, I don't want to pick up red. I don't really care about extra damage. Uh, I just care about clearing. Clearing buffs, getting XP. Because if I'm completely honest, and this is dumb, and you shouldn't do this, but I want to take Kronos into late game as auto attack outwash because I want to see what auto attack outwash can do. Now... For the people watching the video, 95% of you are not going to try auto attack outwash. And then the 5% of you that do, I just want you to realize, one, what you're getting into. This is not my first attempt. And two, um, that's going to stun. Oh, y'all did. Uh, yeah, this is my first attempt. And two, that, oh, my dickens. Ooh, haha, <laughs> wow, ouch. Oh, uh, I didn't get the heal for that. Not cool. Okay, he missed. He's going to throw this stun here. I'm dead. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, I want Toxic Blade, actually. It's a good thing I died there, because if I didn't die, for some reason, I don't know, dying was like, hey, get Toxic Blade, doofus. I forgot that I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that I could get the attack speed. But no, the, like I said, uh, for those of you that are actually going to try this, one, uh, again, I'm sorry. It's going to take you a long time to get a win. Um, and two, I would... I just want you to know what you're getting into. It, it's not... When you play an auto attack outpost or an auto attack mage, you know, because I, I do these wacky videos all the time. There's almost like... Like a... Like a recipe to it you know like you can't just jump into it and expect to be like i'm an auto attack out wash i'm gonna out auto attack a chronos no you have to get to that point you know you have to you have to be like okay i'm out wash which means i'm going to be bad at auto attacks which means in order to get good at auto attacks i'm going to have to try really 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 hard to get a lead <laughs> And then once you have that lead, then you can start building your auto attacks and then you can start you know, really focusing on what you want to do. But um, back to the original point is the 5% of you that do try this build, I, I want you to know if you fight a Kronos, do not take him to late game. You won't win. It's, it's very difficult. It's honestly, it's one of those things where you like, you know, you watch Jackass and they're like, Put the warning up or whatever. These are trained professionals or stuntmen or something, and they're doing all this. Um, it's it's true. Like, I'm a trained stuntman in Smite at this point. I know how to take an L. I know how to I know how to take a fall or how to take a a, a bad build and make it look glorious. So that's like that's kind of my thing at this point. So just because I'm trying to take the Kronos in the late game does not mean that everybody should. I think that kills you. Does not kill you. It killed him. <laughs> okay. I was not expecting that at all. Uh, I'm just going to auto these because I want to pick those corpses up for the heals. I'm going to pick the corpses up for the heals. All right. Let's see if we can get Phoenix. I have really fast autos, actually. Perfect. I have also 
very much gold in my hands. Are you trying to fight me? Are you running out? Yeah, you are. I had a feeling. I just need to juke this. I walked right into it. I'm a doofus. And then I need to use these to body block his autos while his two is up. Now that his two is down, I trade the autos. And that is a kill. And now we back. Good job. So I talked through the thought process of that fight, by the way, but I just want to reiterate. When I was using my, my one and my three, most people immediately assume you use those to either detonate them or pick them up. But they can actually be used just to block auto attacks. Just like um, like an AMC hive. Or you can even drop a ward. Because wards are visible for a second when you drop them. So you can actually block an auto attack using a ward by placing it. And then running in front of it. So um, yeah, for, for that fight there, all I did was I used my, my corpses as like pseudo minion bloody body blockers and uh ouch that's gonna hurt yeah 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 oh but that's a stun that's a stun i want to slow i want to slow and then i want to auto i have hastened ring there it is there it is hastened ring baby hastened ring uh i I wasn't going to end, but I, I people get upset with me when I don't end just to finish the build. They always say, Sam, it's really disrespectful, and I would lose all respect if I was fighting you, and you didn't end just to finish your meme on me. And, you know, I understand, because if someone did it to me, I would be pretty upset. So we're just going to end here. GG's gamer. Iga gamer. Sorry. Um... Yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this auto attack Alpwash build versus Kronos. And uh, the more in-depth kind of analysis commentary that I think I'm going to be doing a bit more often because it rolls off the tongue just a bit more and it feels a little bit better to me. At least right now in my current mood, it feels good to me. So, um, yeah, I appreciate you guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.